What's up guys, it's Friday here on Transtastic and this week's topic is on life pre-tea versus life post-tea. Now for me, I can only talk about life pre-tea because I'm not on testosterone. Yes, I do want to be on testosterone, but due to family and financial circumstances, I cannot be on testosterone and I'll just leave it at that. I have been blessed to be very tall, have masculine features in my face, having a deep voice and male mannerisms and tendencies to be predominantly interested in more male and masculine things. Those are just things that have either been born into me or I have developed over time. Either way, I'm blessed in this aspect because of all that, I tend to pass 100% of the time. At first it was awesome, but now I could just like care less about what gender people perceive me as because I'm like, I am who I am. People will like me and want to be friends with me or be with me romantically regardless of my gender. That's how I see my life and myself. I am more than just my, I my gender identity. I'm way more than that. For a long time being pre-tea was depressing, it was horrible for me and it is for most people. But I think it's been beneficial for me to wait. Having to do this waiting has caused me to learn a lot about myself, learn to love myself, learn to love my body, be okay with my body. This is life and I need to enjoy it the best I can regardless of my circumstances. Life is not what happens to you. Life is how you deal with what happens to you. That's how I see how we should define people. It's not it's not what happens to you. It's 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 how you deal with what happens to you. It's what you choose to do afterwards. Like I've come I've come a long way and you know this way is not for everybody. Most people need to start testosterone and then learn to love themselves. I needed to learn to love myself first, and I do. And I love my body, you know, I do want surgeries, but at the same time, just like, if I have to be stuck with this body for the rest of my life, you know, I'll make it work. I can make it work. And testosterone for me at this point is just like, when I do start it, it's not going to be like, one month on tea, two months of tea, I don't think I'm going to be recording it or being so ecstatic or happy, I don't think I'm going to have a typical experience. I'm just going to be like, this should have happened a while ago, and now it's happening. It's a part of my life. It's, it's just there. When non-trans people go through normal puberty, it's just puberty. Like, they don't make a huge deal of it, it's just... All right, hormones are running through my body making changes, like it should. Where's the pizza? And I feel like that's just how it's gonna be for me. I'm not gonna like really pay attention to all the changes. I'm just gonna continue doing my life and living my life the best as I can while testosterone courses through my body. You know, it, it does get tough. It does get to me that I'm on testosterone every now and then, but I just, I power through. And that's the best advice I can, not the best, but it's the advice I give most people that you need to power through. Like you will, you can, power through. You just gotta dig deep within yourself and find the will to do it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.